George and Steph, taking into account just the size of this hamlet, it's pretty much doubled in population now that all this law enforcement is present here. Some tell me it's overwhelming. Other residents say it's frustrating, and some even say it's frightening to them. Take a look at just what this area really looks like. We have seen boots on the ground in Malone. We know there's a police presence in Mountain View, a huge number of officers and vehicles in Owl's Head and road roadblocks sprinkled everywhere in between, many along Route 27. People across the county we've spoken to say seasonal cabins and camps make up 75% of the properties here. Residents say with that in mind, they're dropping in at friends' places to make sure their closed, canned goods and hunting gear is all in place. I've just been checking out my buddy's camps for him around and you know, the camps are in the middle of nowhere. Easily you could sneak in there if you're an escaped convict or whatnot and spend the night, eat some food. Everybody gets on Facebook or makes phone calls to each other, and we're frightened. And I know the police and state troopers, investigators, they're doing everything they can, but these guys evidently are one step ahead of us, and I think it's time to bring in the big boys to get everything done. After police confirmed that there was DNA found at a cabin in this area that linked either Richard Matt or David Sweated or both to the area, many are on edge. A possible sighting this afternoon didn't turn up anything, according to the sheriff. But this evening, we did see helicopters circling the area. People say it makes them feel safe, but at the same time, they can't help but sleep with one eye open.